I'm Ian Thomas with Front Office Sports. I'm joined here by Scott Warfield, Managing Director of Gaming for NASCAR. This is still a relatively new position for you. Explain to me a little bit how NASCAR is approaching the gaming and sports betting space. Sure, Ian. Thanks, thanks first of all, for having us. I, I'll back up probably to, to May of last year when PASPA was struck down. Um, and a lot of the leagues and, and teams and, and sports business industry in general were looking at um, what that meant for, for them. Um, we were one of those. We had been looking at the, the sports betting space for a long time. Um, and, and when May, when PASPA was struck down, that really put us, uh, put the wheels into motion, no pun intended, um, on uh, you know, a, a series of events. And, and it started kind of talking to the family and talking to the C-suite at NASCAR about what the comfort level was, um, you know, family owned, privately held company. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the reaction was, let's be smart about it, but let's be aggressive in the space. Um, so first and foremost, we went out and we struck a deal with Sport Radar to be our integrity partner. And that was crucial to get those kind of key protocols in place. So they, Sport Radar came in and they did fraud detection monitoring and they did education seminars with our drivers and our teams and our tracks. Um, which uh, gave us kind of the foundation to start to pursue on the commercial side, right? Um, so that was uh, a good part of the fall of 2018. Uh, and then we turned our attention to the, the data side, as a lot of leagues have, have done, and you've, uh, you guys have covered and, and, and written about. Um, and just a couple months ago, announced an exclusive data partnership deal with uh, Genius Sports. Um, so uh, that was important for us, right, as, as we look at engagement and that's the key word that you'll probably hear me say a lot right is um, what does sports betting represent for nascar it's an engagement play um, and so what we'll be developing in partnership with genius sports is a a live sports betting product um, that the sports books will be able to offer um, and as the united states catches up with um, uh, kind of where europe's been a very mature sports betting market in play we like to call it in race um, you know, we'll be uh, well positioned to offer our fans something to engage with um, during an event. Sure. What sort of bets are you seeing, or wh where do you sort of see the betting space evolving? I mean, I guess winners is the obvious thing, or, or finish spots. But is there is there in race? spot bets that, that maybe can get that drive that engagement up in certain ways. Yeah, the, the, the good news and the bad news is the, the, the innovation around uh, NASCAR sports betting to date has been limited. Um, so right now, for the most part, it's race winner, it's series championship. Uh, there may be a head-to-head -head matchup, but beyond that, there's not a, a ton of markets. Um, we see that evolving over the next 12, 24, 36 months, um, and pretty rapidly, we hope, right? So you could look at things like lead changes, number of leaders, stage wins, next fastest lap, um, things that we hope will keep audience um, attention longer, right? So how do you get that core fan, the three, five million people that are watching every Sunday get to watch another 15 minutes, another 30 minutes, another 45 minutes, um, has a tremendous impact on TV ratings, yeah. value of media sponsors, or media deals, I should say. Um, and then how does it attract new fans, right? So. Um, and you may not be a NASCAR fan, but if, if you're able to engage in a fun, unique way through some prop betting, in-play betting, um, that may bring you into the sport. So uh, it has kind of a dual role for us. How do you see that the sports betting space evolving with the broadcast side I mean, and, and being integrated into either what you guys are doing on your linear broadcast or even potential for OTT or other shoulder programming that has sports betting angles involved? Yeah, I think it's a little early on the, the linear side. Um, we've taken a pretty aggressive approach from a um, digital side. Mm -hmm. So we're running a 10 question props game every single week. We post our odds gallery for the first time starting back in February. It's one of the most popular um, uh, pages we have on NASCAR.com. We did a partnership with the Action Network where mm -hmm. they're producing a lot of content around the sport, what it means to bet on the sport, how you go about it, different prop bets. Um, but over time, as the state-by-state -state rollout happens, I think those opportunities um, from a broadcast standpoint are gonna um, probably take off. If you look at what NBC Regional did with Washington and with Philly, um, really unique concept where uh, you still have that main linear broadcast for the fan that's interested in, in that traditional broadcast. And then you have a, a kind of a companion um, uh, uh, option on the sports betting side. That's, that's, I think, where um, 
you'll see this go. Um, you know, I, I think all the leagues, us included, are cognizant about serving this content to people that are looking for it and not to, to everyone, right? Yeah. Um, my my, my five-year-old five daughter loves NASCAR. I don't need to serve her sports betting content. Sure. I want to serve her the, 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 the main broadcast on Fox or NBC. So I think probably a little early given we're only in 10, 11, 12 states, but over time, I think that's a, a really interesting way to uh, engage an audience for sure. Like I said, it seems like the, the hot topic on the sports betting front is the fan engagement angle and, and either bringing new fans into the sport or, or deepening the engagement for fans that already are, are, are avids. How do you sort of view this as an opportunity for NASCAR? Can you, can you bring some folks into the play? Do you think it, you know, for the, for the people who are at races that this is a second screen experience for them? It, does it sway one way or the other? It's a, not to be vague, it's a little bit all of that, <laughs> right? Um, out of the gate, it, um, you know, if I'm being fully transparent, I, I see this as a, a, a core fan um, engagement play. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not naive enough to think that if you're a, you're a non-fan and all of a sudden we have more bet types, are you going to start watching the sport? I'm not sure. Uh, I like to believe we can get there, um, but as, as we have the most loyal fans in all of sports. Um, they are ambassadors for NASCAR more than, than any megaphone we can speak from. Uh, so if we offer them a good betting product, they will be out evangelizing this. They will bring in their neighbors, their cousins, their friends. Um, so I, I, I definitely think that is an opportunity to grow the pie. Mm -hmm. um, but so is social media, so is the things our marketing department is doing. You know, we have uh, uh, tremendous talent across the organization that's all working at growing the pie. This is this is one of those, um, but I think it's it's, it's it'll be an interesting um, case study to see how our core fan um, helps develop this with us. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why that that props game is very interesting. We're getting good intel from them on what they like. Um, if we're able to service them at books and online, they will then go evangelize kind of to that that casual fan that will come in and, and test the sport. This space, the sports betting gaming space, is evolving extremely fast. What are you looking out for? What's on your radar for the rest of this year? What's, what, what do you think we should be keeping our eye on? Yeah, a couple things. I mean, the, from a, a landscape standpoint, just that state-by-state -state rollout is, sure. is fascinating, right? Um, so as your Iowa's and Tennessee's and Indiana's and Illinois and Michigan's come on, what does that mean to the states around them? How quickly do we get to that um, critical mass? I think it's going to be faster than most people think. Mm -hmm. um, from a NASCAR perspective, um, I I'm looking at two dates in particular. I'm looking at September uh, 15th, uh, which is when we start our playoffs out in Las Vegas. Uh, great backdrop to, to <laughs> sports betting and, and, and starting our 10-week uh, playoff run. Um, and then I'm looking at the 2020, <clears throat> excuse me, 2020 Daytona 500. Um, as a, a really um, interesting time where um, together with Genius we'll have a, a real you know interesting product to take out and have fans um, you know experiencing a, a new season uh, the most important race of the year in a, in a completely different way.